Uh, and here we have Carlos and Cleo. Cycle cats. Now this is uh, this is Carlos on top here. Carlos is an African caracal. He comes from Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Libya, Lebanon, countries that we don't want to be in right now. And Carlos doesn't want to be there either, do you, Carlos? No. And again, he was rescued, Doug? He was, uh, no. Um, he was uh, purchased from breeders that uh, um, are not in business anymore. Um, these guys are on the watch list of uh, CITES, International Organization for the Protection of Endangered Species. So, once again, we teach people that these animals are not pets. This is their uh, downtime room. They're, they're nocturnal, so they rest during the day and they're active at night. So I'm a guest in his room right now. And uh, but at night, upstairs they come and they run. They got 1,800 square feet upstairs, and uh, they utilize all that space. And, I guess uh, you sleep through that now. <laughs> and then here we have Cleopatra. Hey, Cleo. Here you go. Are you coming out? Are you coming out? We got some people want to see you. Come on. Come on. Up you come. That's a good girl. And Cleo is what? Good girl. Cleo is an African servo. Her biggest fear in the wild is Carlos. Is what? Carlos. Oh. Carlos is one of her biggest fears in the wild. Oh, amazing. Um, he would hunt her down and, and try to uh, try to uh, eat her. And uh, we're very proud of a lot of our accomplishments. We've got a lot of success stories here at Croc Talk, but we're also very proud to be uh, able to introduce these two guys and uh, now they're best of friends. Sleep together, all cuddle each other. They're just, uh, they're awesome together. Right. Coming up. Now we're going to go in down here in their your, your well, in their environment. I never put myself into that situation, yeah. and I never allow uh, <laughs> any stress uh, to the animals as well. Um, I'm surprised at the length of it. And that's a girl, boy. Uh, this is a female. Yeah. How this long her female. legs are? Yeah, very long legs, and you use those legs for jumping high in the air, and once again coming down on unsuspecting dinner guests. She's Beautiful. just a beauty. She is. She has mm. such a small head. I expected mm -hmm. her to be smaller. Yeah, well, they like eating uh, snakes and, and rabbits and Aww. sand rats and, and oh, small marsupials and mice and stuff. And if she can get her head down a hole, she'll get the rest of her body down the hole, and uh, she'll grab hold of whatever her prey is she's and pull it back up. This is Brenda's cat. Yeah. Yeah. Brenda, Brenda can do anything with Cleo. Uh, I can't do anything with Cleo, actually, but I have this way with women, I think. <laughs> right, Cleo? That's a good girl. <laughs> yes, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Aww. Carlos is bonded with me. Uh, but another thing, he can't touch his monkey. That's his monkey. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to stress you out, but if I reach up there for his monkey, he'll uh, let me know that... Uh, Will he spot at you? Um, yeah, he'll spot yeah. at me and don't touch my monkey. But he keeps his claws in, I would hope, for you? Um, we've had them both uh, spayed and neutered. I sat on a committee uh, for prohibited animals here in the regional district of the central Okanagan and uh, with Mayor Shepard and, and three or four others. And we created back in 2003 a prohibited animal bylaw, second to none prohibited animal bylaw, that is being incorporated in communities all across Canada now. So Excellent. it's been very good. And recently, the uh, BC Legislature has uh, uh, also incorporated and legislated a uh, very tough exotic animal uh, act uh, throughout the entire province. So we hope that the rest of the uh, country uh, kicks in and uh, does the right thing as well. I've been working very hard for a long time in uh, trying to convince people to stop bringing animals over the border and it's just uh, uh, generally behind. It's been uh, common how we have to uh, protect people from um, animals. Um, I am more concerned about protecting the animals from people. Exactly. And it seems to me that when you have an exotic animal attack or an attack of an animal of any sort um, on a human being, it's generally a human problem. Uh, the individual behind the animal is generally negligent in his care of that animal. So. Um, we look at it a little differently here. Our, our, our focus is to protect the animals from people that shouldn't have these animals. We are members of CASA, Canadian Association for Zoos and Aquariums. And of course, we are uh, um, have the recognized facility status from our regional district. And uh, we're very fortunate to have that status. And, uh, and these are just wonderful animals as well. 
Yes, it's a girl. Oh, she's so beautiful. Yes. Good girl. Very good girl. How long have you had her? Yeah. Uh, Cleo just turned uh, six years old on March the 18th, and Carlos, uh, he will turn seven years old on Canada Day. So the city of Kelowna, for the last six years, has put on a big fireworks display for Carlos's birthday. <laughs> they call it Canada Day. I think one day yeah. they'll get it right and know that it's Carlos's birthday, right, Carlos? Right, Carlos? Yes, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good girl, give me a hand. hand. Good boy. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. That's Carlos's monkey, and of course, this is Cleo's Care Bear. Cleo's Care Bear. We go through about three or four pounds of raw chicken and turkey every day. Really? Um, pack of fruits and vegetables. We add acidophilus into the food, which is a herbal diuretic yeah. um, for them. Um, these animals would both be dead by now in the wild. They wouldn't live to the age of five years old. Um, Cleo was shot and killed for her fur. It takes about 13 African servals to make one small jacket, ladies' jacket. Yeah, good girl. And uh, Carlos, he's just shot and killed by extremists uh, from those countries. And um, it's pretty Does sad. Do you have any uh, predators? Uh, bigger cats bigger and man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bigger cats and man. He is so beautiful. They'll live up to 20, 25 years with us in captivity. We can touch a lot of hearts in that period of time and teach people to keep these animals alive. They're not pets. Take part in conservation efforts wherever you can and, uh, and really take part in a, in a positive attitude. And, uh, keeping some of these species alive, and that's what that's what our whole focus is here. Yeah. Oh, the stripes is beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. Carlos, he, her history dates back about seven thousand years of Egyptology, uh, so she's more of a, a royal attitude. Her attitude is, here I am. You can start the party now. Uh, Carlos, he's your uh, typical uh, ambush predator. Uh, stay up high, stay down low, but in the in the darkness and. Uh, uh, his job is to more intimidate. Good girl. Oh, you're looking for your blanket? Oh, big stretch. Good girl. Yeah. This is our litter boxes. This is Cleo's. That's Carlos's. We have them upstairs as well. Yeah, we have them upstairs as well. Yes, that's a good girl. You want to go back in your tunnel? You want to go back in your tunnel? As I say, this is just their downtime room. Upstairs at night time, they have that 1,800 square feet upstairs, and nice. they use it all. I'm just gonna, she's gonna go back to sleep here, so I'm just gonna yeah. reset this up. There you go. Right, up you come. Good girl. Good girl. I'm all done in here. Good girl. <laughs>